Welcome to Handle It, the instructional cooking show brought to you by the folks at Epic Meal Time. I'm Josh. And I'm Amir. And together, we make up Team Cuisine. What are we handling today? This is definitely some sort of uh, baking suite that I'm not familiar with. This is so, like, we're gonna make food out of these ingredients? This is gonna be homemade Twinkies. Right now, we can make Twinkies and enjoy before we can't and die. Hey, I think you'll be around at least for another 50 years. <laughs> Timeless American classic made by a couple Canadians. So pause the screen right now and write all these ingredients down, head to the grocery store and uh, meet us back here and let's get this shit on the road. First step, man. First step is taking your yellow cake mix, taking the instructions, throwing them out the window. You didn't just pick this bag of white powder up off the street for nothing. Let's go ahead and add all your cake mix to the mixing bowl. And I'm gonna assemble our mixing apparatus over here. Ooh, this has a little juice. Don't worry if the cake mix is a little thick. It's uh, it's okay. We're not done with it yet. Clean those off so that we can get to separating and whipping our egg whites. So separate your yolks from your whites. That was not a racist term. You want four egg whites. We're gonna make a meringue. Now what the f is a meringue? I honestly don't know the real definition, but I know that when the egg whites get air beaded into them, they become meringue. You just learned something today. Meringue. You're gonna learn how to make it and use it in everything in life. So I'm gonna use the same mixing device over here and I'm gonna make these whites. I mean, you wanna go uh, preheat the oven 3.5? Pizza stand up. So when the egg whites turn into shaving cream, you know you're good to go. Take a third of your egg whites and just mix them into the batter. Basically the reason we're doing this is to introduce the egg whites to the batter. Now we take the remaining egg whites, throw it on top. The fold, you wanna go underneath like this, over, and then turn. It's like cracking a safe, but in the yellow cake mix. Now we're gonna build our molds. Twinkie Coons. Grab yourself a empty spice bottle and, and aluminum foil. My favorite thing we ever use. We're all out of aluminum foil. Get in. Just get. Oh, this guy. Take your tin foil, fold it in half. Take your empty spice bottle, put it at the end. Fold over the bottom like so, so it's resting. Make sure you crease the end because you're folding all the way down to that other end. And commence a quarter of the way through. Fold it in like so, and then just finish it off. Take the bottom part, push it all the way down, make sure it stands up because we're baking these in the oven. They gotta stand up. Fish out your spice bottle like this. You wanna make about 10 to 12 of these. Make sure the insides of those are greased up so that the Twinkies come out nice and uh, clean like. And while Amir does that, I'm gonna take our batter and I'm gonna fill this piping bag with it. You wanna take your cake batter and fill it about three quarters full because it's gonna expand when you want them on the floor. You wanna hold that for you? Yeah, appreciate that. Don't worry, things like this take a little time, but it all comes together in the end. Our oven is definitely preheated at this point to 325 degrees. We're gonna put these bad boys in there for 30 minutes. We're gonna be team efficiency over here, and we're gonna get on to making some cream filling for these motherfuckers. Add your sugar. About a cup and a half. Sugar makes you hyper, so. One and a half cups of softened, unsalted butter. Boom, butter's in. Cup and a half of lard. Hand mixer, part three. We're gonna mix this lard, butter, flour, and sugar together, and then we're gonna add a cup of milk and two teaspoons of vanilla. So you know, Josh is gonna take these Twinkie bowls out of the oven. You wanna let them cool to room temperature, or if you're in a rush, you can put them in the fridge or freezer and they'll cool faster. Cryo freeze. I really like the fact that they're all different. A human made this, not a machine. Loaded up this piping tube full of cream, and now I'm gonna stuff it in these Twinks. What is that, a Jewish term? Take a skewer, but the opposite end of it, not the pointy part. I'm gonna make two holes, because it's a smaller one, but make sure you don't pierce the top of it. I wanna poke some holes. Yeah, do it, man. And stick your piping okay. bag inside the hole and fill until it just pops up like that. There you have it. We made Twinkies pretty much from nothing. They look pretty awesome. You can feed about 10 people with this. Don't be shy, make them. They're great. Like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that fun <coughs> Remember, you don't need to know <coughs> about cooking in order to cook. You just need to know where Waldo is. Where the is that guy? <coughs>